Welcome. This lesson is basically the exact same lesson as the last lesson, except for one aspect. In the last lesson, we were always trying to find the length of the hypotenuse or the longest side of a right triangle. In this lesson, we're trying to find one of the shorter sides or one of the legs. So as a quick reminder, remember, a right triangle always has a little square in one corner. That square is formed by two sides that are called the legs. And that's supposed to be a G. And this is a leg. The longest side, the side that does not form the right angle, is called the hypotenuse. And that was in the last lesson as well. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to find a missing length, which is one of the legs. So now we know the longest side and one of the two shorter legs. In the previous lesson, we always squared and added. Now we're going to square and subtract. Now again, remember the whole concept is the relationship between the two legs. And if you square them and add them together, we'll add up to the length of the larger side squared. Or more specifically, draw your squares, because this is called Pythagorean's theorem and it's about squares squaring the sides. Draw your squares and just remember that the two smaller squares, their area adds up to the larger square. So what I would do is I notice I have the larger side, its length is 10, which means this side is 10. I do 10 times 10 to find the side of the larger, or the larger square is 100. The area of this bottom square, which is one of the smaller squares, which has a length of 8, which is 8 by 8. 8 times 8 is 64. I'm going to subtract that amount from 100 to get 36. That 36 is now going to be the area of that missing square. Now, if it's the area, then again, what I'm going to do is square root 36 to find out that the side length is 6, which means that side length is 6. 6 times 6 is 36. So the length of that missing side is 6. So again, in the last one, we ended up always adding because we knew the two shorter and we're trying to find the longer. Now we're subtracting the smaller one from the largest one to find the other small square. So again, just again, visually, I wouldn't necessarily say you always have to draw this, but visually picture those two squares on that side and the bigger square on this side. We're going to grab our calculator, since I'm not sure what 17 times 17 is. But 17 times 17 is going to be uh, 289. So the area of this bigger square is 289. The area of this smaller square over here that has a side length of 8, so it's an 8 by 8, well, that's going to be 64. Now again, I'm going to minus because the area of the larger square minus this smaller one will equal the other small square. And that, I just want to make sure you realize that square is bigger than this square. So 289 minus 64 is going to be 225. And then we take our calculator and we square 225 and find out that each of these side lengths has to be 15, because 15 times 15 is 25. So my side length is 15. Okay, now you will get into some decimals, which is perfectly fine as you get into higher, higher up. And so far it looks like it's always this right side that's missing. It could be technically the bottom. Just realize that if one of the two legs is missing, you subtract. Oh, here's one where they just give you actually words. So again, what I would do is I'd draw my right triangle, draw the little right angle in there. In a right triangle, A and B are the lengths of the legs. So they're saying that this is a leg and this is a leg. And by the way, that is Pythagorean's theorem. I should really state that, that they, they write it as A squared plus B squared equals c squared. 
And that's true as long as A and B are the legs, the two shorter sides. It says A and B are the legs of the are the lengths of the legs, and C is the length of the hypotenuse. It says if B, so this B side here is 1.2, and C, which is the hypotenuse, is 3.8, we want to find the value of A. Well, we're going to do that by remembering to think about a square on each side. Square, square, and a square. And the bigger square, which is this side, by the way, the bigger squares is going to be the same as these two smaller added together. So I'm going to square 3.8. 3.8 times 3.8. It's going to be 14.44. 14.44. I'm going to square 1.2, 1.2 times 1.2 is 1.44. So the area of this square here is 1.44. Now to find the area of this square, I'm going to minus the 1.44 from the 14.44. That's really nice. That's going to be an easy 13. And since the area of this square is 13, I need to square root. Don't forget that. You need to square root 13. So the square root of 13 means each of these sides is 3.60555. But it says round to the nearest tenth. So if I round to the nearest tenth, it'll be 3.6 because that's a zero. I don't change the tenth spot, and it'll be 3.6. If you have any questions, please bring them to class, and I will help you there.